Guys, you know, the election's only been over a day, but signs of the pump are everywhere, or the incoming shoot to pass 100K are everywhere. So we're gonna go over four of those signs. One is I've been mentioning for a long time, Bitcoin search trends, and they are going up. You look at uh, you know October um, 20 to 26, which was like just two weeks ago, it was at 31, pretty much the lowest of the past 12 months. Like it, we weren't like this low even last year at this time, the lowest of the past 12 months. And you know, look at, uh, if you look at now, November 3rd through 9th, we are at 60. We basically just doubled. Now, the data on the last couple of days is not complete, but this is just the projected. So the interest, search interest in Bitcoin is way, way up. The search interest in crypto is up too, but not quite as much as the search interest in Bitcoin. So retail, this shows that retail is coming, but not quite here. If you look at... Uh, this, you have October uh, 27th through 7th, that's 39, and now we're at 47, so it's crawling up. Still nothing like the 100 on March 3rd through 9th. I think crypto more lends itself to altcoins, whereas Bitcoin obviously lends itself to Bitcoin. But that is the only, that isn't the only signal. Second, we've been talking about this for a long time. We know the Fed is going to cut rates tomorrow. I think you can get, you can price in a 25 VPS. Obviously, Jerome Powell is going to talk about how he's going to deal with possible Donald Trump tariffs. He might actually have to keep the rates higher um, because the tariffs he thinks will underpin inflation. But just the fact that we are actually getting a 25 basis point cut uh, tomorrow, and then another 25 basis point cut, possibly in December, that could really boost the markets. Third, is that uh, outside of Donald Trump's election, a lot of pro crypto candidates also got in from both parties. But the one that uh, I'm uh, most excited about is Sherrod Brown actually lost his um, election against Bernie Moreno. Now, Brown was one of Warren's staunchest allies, so getting rid of him basically chops off one of Warren's legs. Gensler is also probably going to resign, so Warren is by herself, and her war against crypto is not going to go so well. So, it'll be a while, probably like um, January, before Gensler loses his chairmanship or just resigns like he generally should do, uh, But and Brown is going to be out in January as well, replaced by Bernie Moreno. Now, Moreno was actually supported by a lot of crypto money or fair shake money. Fair shake gave Moreno $40 million. And this was one of the most expensive races, but Bernie Moreno did eventually win uh, this Ohio seat. This was one of the vulnerable seats, but of course I do actually think fair shake, fair shake tipped it in Moreno's favor. So, Getting rid of some of these anti-crypto candidates with pro-crypto candidates, even like you know Arizona, where Ruben Gallego is going to beat Carrie Lake. Um, Gallego has been bought over by Fairshake as well, donating millions of dollars to his account. So we've gained a ton of pro-crypto um, support in Congress. So that is another signal, which means better regulations for us. And of course, I want to talk about BlackRock's massive volume. So basically, like yesterday, BlackRock ETF saw the biggest volume day ever with $4.1 billion traded. BlackRock Bitcoin ETF saw its largest day of trading activity following Donald Trump's re-election as president of the United States. BlackRock's Bitcoin exchange traded fund witnessed a record day of trading after Donald Trump's victory in the U.S. presidential election. In a November 6th post to X, Bloomberg ETF analyst Eric Balchunas shared that iShares witnessed its biggest volume day ever with over $4.1 in daily trading on November 6th. For context, that's more volume than stocks like Berkshire, Netflix, or Visa saw today. So definitely a huge, huge trade day. $4.1 billion, beating many of the top stocks. And not only that, they saw $1 billion in volume in the first minutes of post-election trading this morning. So people were very, very excited about ETFs. And I think the public, because um, Trump is a pro-crypto candidate, the regulations are going to get better. There's going to be more VC investment, and I think there's going to be more ETFs. I think more and more of the public will actually get exposure to crypto. So that is the fourth sign of a massive crypto pump. And I definitely think it will take us above 100K probably next year, but maybe even before the end of this year, even maybe before F F Trump gets into office because, uh, you know, the people actually know that he's actually coming into office 
and uh, the pro crypto candidates are coming into office as well. So there's four big signs of a pump. The crypto interest is not quite there, this only being up at 47. This is kind of where we were in August and actually below where we were in January of last year. But if you look at Bitcoin, it is climbing up a lot faster. Obviously, crypto will trail Bitcoin in terms of climbing. But I do, de I definitely think it will get there uh, in terms of interest. And that's when you see retail come in. Look at the crypto trends and look at like, you know, Coinbase's, uh, not only that stock, which went up 30% today, but also it's app ranking in the app store. So that's the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe, hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.